What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS, and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you the top 10 home and kitchen items that you need to be dropshipping right now. That sounds nice. Now this video is gonna be a little bit different than some of the other ones. So instead of giving you a seller's website, like a Shopify store, I'm actually gonna be giving you an Amazon listing with a similar product, so you can price your product similarly to that one. The reason for this is I wanna show you all that you can dropship even with Amazon as a competitor. Also, as an added bonus, I'm going to be giving you a video idea that you can use to start making content so you can post on TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts so you can start making some more sales. One thing I realized that I really like doing, and I'm actually not that bad at, I'm pretty good at it, is making short form video content to post on sites like TikTok, where you can actually go viral, reach a huge audience, and start making some money. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Really quick before we get started, one more thing, or two more things actually. The first one is we have an easy to reference cheat sheet with all of the different products that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video, along with the video ideas that I'm gonna be giving you. If you want access to that, just go ahead and comment down below, hashtag kitchen, and let me know which one of these items was your favorite. Also, make sure you stick around all the way to the end because I'm gonna give you a bonus item. You might be able to see it right now, it's in the frame. So if you know what it is, if you see it, drop a comment down below as well. All right, kicking things off in our first spot, we have a vacuum sealer. So what a vacuum sealer does is simply keep food fresh longer, whether that be outside of the fridge, in the fridge, or in the freezer. This is something that a lot of people need even though they don't know it. Personally, I don't have one just yet. I've actually been needing to buy one. I should order one of these right now, actually, now that I remembered. But aside from that, what I do is I just get a Ziploc bag and I squeeze out all the air. That's not very efficient because there's still air left in there, which can ultimately cause bacteria growth. So a vacuum sealer helps you do just that. So let's check this out on Amazon right now. We can see that this one is actually running for $69.99 and it's down from $94.99. So it's currently on sale. So this is just the sealer itself. It doesn't bring any bags or anything else. Now let's check out our supplier. So over at the AutoDS Marketplace, we have a similar version available, except it's gonna be in all black. Now this one is only running for $16.71. On top of that, you don't have to pay for shipping. Shipping is totally free, and it's got some pretty quick shipping as well, four to six business days. So as you can see, the only difference really is the color and the logo in the front, nothing else. Everything else is gonna be the exact same thing. It's gonna have the same exact functionalities. You're gonna have the vacuum sealer, but as an added bonus, this one actually comes with some bags. So as you can see, it's the vacuum sealer machine with the automatic seal bag or with the seal bag. So this product you can purchase for $16.71. You can sell it for about $69.99. That's gonna give you a potential profit of a massive $53.28. That's insane. Insane. Remember, when it comes to dropshipping, we wanna try to stick to products that we can sell at least at a two to two and a half profit margin. Of course, that's not always the case. Sometimes you are gonna be making a little bit less profit depending on the product. But in this case, you're making a lot more than two and a half times. So this for sure is a winner. Make sure you add this one to your store because this is something that's actually very needed. And a lot of people don't know they need it until they actually do need it when they realize all their food is going bad very quickly. Now, how can you market this item? Now, the easiest way you're gonna be able to do this is by making a comparison video. You're gonna to have to order a sample of these. You're gonna to have to order some of these different products if you wanna make these videos. Just make sure you keep that in mind. Or you can send one of these to an influencer that can get these videos done for you. Now, what's this video gonna be about? So you're gonna get two bags. You're gonna get a vacuum seal bag and you're gonna get a Ziploc bag. You're gonna put some freshly cut fruit in each of them and you're just gonna to toss them in the fridge. Or you can just leave them outside, whichever one you prefer. Then you're gonna make a time lapse. You're gonna record every single day until one of them becomes rotten. Obviously, the one that's gonna become rotten is the one in the Ziploc bag because it's not airtight. So that one is gonna go bad faster. And those are the results that you're gonna show. So you're gonna make a time lapse showing which one is more efficient at keeping the food fresher longer. All right, next up at number two, we have diamond ice cube molds or just ice cube molds in general, but with a certain shape. So these on AliExpress, you can actually find them for $3.59 and you have $2 shipping. So ultimately it's gonna be about $5.59 more or less. Now we can see here that it's $10.43 normally, right? So I'm not entirely sure how real this actually is because I'm looking at it through here through a different browser where I'm not signed in and I'm getting a welcome deal of 99 cents. 
But then in my regular AliExpress account where I have made multiple purchases, I don't get that welcome deal, but I still get a discount. We get it at $3.59. So I don't know how often it actually goes back to $10.43, but if it does go back up to that price, you have tons of other suppliers on AliExpress as well or anywhere else where you're going to find this same ice cube mold or at least a similar one for cheaper within the $5 range, which is what I'm going for in this particular product. So for this, we're going to be spending about $5.59 for this particular ice cube mold. Now, these are awesome because these are perfect party favors. These are something that people like to use whenever somebody comes over. Maybe they have a meeting. They want to have a couple of drinks with somebody. They want to pour some scotch, some whiskey, something on the rocks. These are the ones that people go for specifically because it just goes with the theme. It adds to the ambiance and it just adds to the overall mood. Now, checking out some very similar ones on Amazon, you can see that they're running for $9.99. Now, this is just for one as well. So you're not going to get all three molds that you see on here. You're going to get either the diamonds, the squares or the spheres. In this case, we're just going for the diamonds, but we can see here that it's running for $9.99. So for these molds, you're going to be making a potential profit of about $4.41. Now, that might not seem like a lot, but remember, with a product like this, a lot of the times people aren't going to be buying just one. Sometimes they're going to buy two or three. And if you have the different variations, people can even purchase more. Now, what about our marketing? How are we going to make a video on this to start posting it on TikTok? So you're going to start with how it works. You're going to show how you fill it up. You're going to show yourself putting it in the freezer and opening that mold up. Then what you're going to do is add a little cinematic effect to it. So you're going to get the molds, turn them upside down, and you're going to show the ice cubes actually start to fall out of the mold itself. As they start to fall, make sure you put your iPhone or your Android phone on slow motion. So it catches it going down slowly, and then you're going to cut to another frame where it lands inside your cup and makes a splash. Also in slow motion. Or if you have a whiskey cup or one of those cups that you use to drink scotch, I don't know if they're the exact same ones because I personally don't drink, but looking at an example like this, you see you've got the sphere here and then you have the little splash coming up. Something like this would be the perfect aesthetic for a TikTok video to be able to promote this product. Now, before we continue, I do want to mention one quick thing. I'm only giving you one video idea for each of these products. Don't post that one video and expect to go viral because I'm sorry, that's not how it works. You're going to have to do a little bit of trial and error. Make that video, see how it works, make another two, three, four, five videos, with more or less the same concept and see how it goes. But then you also need to start getting a bit creative and start coming up with some different video ideas as well. So don't give up if you don't see success after just one video, you're going to have to put in a little bit more work to have more videos out there to start attracting a bigger audience. So next up, we have a 20 jar spice rack. So this spice rack is actually really cool because it has one specific feature that a lot of others don't from the seller or from the manufacturer. If you drop one of the jars and it breaks, you have five years where you can get unlimited replacements. It tells you right here about the five year free spice jar resend service. If the spice jar is broken during transportation or daily use, please contact us to get a free resend. So if one of them breaks, you can get a replacement, which is absolutely amazing. Now, this one in particular is running for $27.99 with free shipping, and the shipping is two business days, so it's really fast. Now, let's look at a similar product on Amazon. So we have this one, which is also 20 jars, and it's actually running for $36.98. Typically, it's about $40, so it's on sale right now. Now, this doesn't have the same service that the one that I told you has. This one actually has a different service. So for five years, you're going to get free spices rather than a replacement for a jar if it breaks. At the end of the day, you're getting something for free and you have five years to be able to claim them. So you're still going to get extra value for your order, or rather, should I say your customer is going to get more value with their order. So let's talk money with this one. We're going to be selling it for about $36 and 98 cents with a sourcing price of about $27 and 99 cents. So this is going to give us a profit of about $8 and 99 cents. Now the video idea. So I don't know if you've seen the old school infomercial videos where everything starts off as black and white and it's a very dramatic scene. It's something that's almost even impossible to happen in real life, but they just over dramatize everything to just make it look over exaggerated. So this is what we're going to start with. You're going to start with opening the cabinet. The camera is going to be on the inside and it's going to show from the inside opening a cabinet. Once the light comes in, it's going to show a very messy cabinet with spices thrown everywhere. This person that opened the cabinet is going frantic looking for a particular spice. And then in the background, you're going to start hearing a little alarm beep, 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 and their food's going to be burning. So you're going to make a very dramatic entrance. 
And then right after the spice is found, they're going to close the drawer and then it's going to cut to someone rearranging that spice drawer, that same person and arranging them on a spice rack and then easily being able to find whatever spice they need by simply turning the rack. Next up at number four, we have a portable stove. Now this portable stove is going to run on either gas or butane. For the most part though, if you're using gas, you don't want to use this inside. Butane sometimes is okay. You want to make sure you have proper ventilation. So just have doors open. But for the most part, these are going to be portable stoves that people use primarily if the lights go out or if somebody decides to go camping or something around that nature. So this stove on the AutoDS marketplace is going for $25.99 with $6.99 shipping. Now let's take a look at the Amazon listing. And on here you have a similar one that's running for $59.99. Now check this out. This one itself has over 400 that were purchased in the last month. So this is actually one thing that Amazon has been implementing into their stores so people can make an easier decision whether or not a product is right for them. This is great for the customers, but this is also great for us as dropshippers because this can really help us find products that people are interested in and that people are currently buying. This is extremely important because this is social proof or this is at least some sort of proof that tells us there's interest in this product. So talking money, we are selling it for about $59.99. Our sourcing price is about $32.98. That's giving us a potential profit of about $27.01. Now, in order to market this video, what we're going to do is we're going to make a video of us making a full on five course meal in a random place. Have you ever seen that electric pot, the one where it's going absolutely viral on TikTok and it has been for a while, where somebody is simply in their dorm room watching a video on their laptop and they're cooking filet mignon or they're cooking a full on meal in their dorm room right on their bed. So this is going to be similar, except we're actually using fire. So we're not going to be doing it in the dorm room, but instead you can go outside. You can go to a camping spot. You can go by a lake somewhere where it has a nice scenery and you're gonna start cooking there. Make sure you show yourself cooking, make sure you show yourself cutting up the ingredients, putting everything together, and show the final product. But most importantly, of course, the focus is gonna be the stove, but we don't wanna make it obvious. So you're just gonna have it out there. It's gonna be in the center of the frame while everything else is going on around it. Up next, we have a two pack of mini bag sealers. So when it comes to chips, let's say, you open the bag and the freshness is pretty much gonna be done. As soon as you're done, if you don't finish the entire bag, you roll it up and you put a little clip on it. At least that's what we typically do. Now, a lot of the times that's going to work for a little bit, but eventually the food's going to go stale. So this is where this product comes in. This product can help your snacks stay fresh for longer by simply resealing the bag. Also, it helps protect from spillage, which is how we're going to go ahead and market it. So right now you can see that two of them are running for $2.41. Typical price is about $24.73. Now this is one of those items that, yeah, it's showing that typical price is $24.73, but that's very expensive. And if we look through some other suppliers, you're gonna find them at a way cheaper rate. So if for whatever reason, when this video comes out and you get access to the cheat sheet, if this is back up at $24.73, which is possible, but kind of unlikely because that's pretty expensive for a product like this, then you can simply do a reverse image search. So just go ahead and get one of the images like this one, a high quality one, go ahead and right click it and search images with Google. If it doesn't automatically pick it up, just go ahead and select it. And then here on the side, you're going to have all of the different options for you to choose from. So if the prices go up, don't be scared. Don't fret. You can still make a big profit off of it. Just search up a similar product on AliExpress. Now looking on Amazon, we can see that a similar product, a two pack still is running for $18.99. And this one itself has over 500 bot in the last month. So again, this is a trending item. Now let's check out how much money we can make. So the selling price is going to be about $18.99. Your sourcing price is going to be about $8.38. By the way, if you're wondering why the prices kind of change a little bit every once in a while, it's because I'm using two different accounts. The first one that has the welcome deals is the one that I'm not signed in on. And this was the one that I am signed in on because I like to check to see if a certain sale is specific to only new people or if there's also a discount for people that have already made a purchase on AliExpress in the past. And this one in itself is actually $8.41 for me. Since I have purchased from AliExpress in the past, I don't get the welcome deal. So this right now is running $8.41, and that's what I have here. But it looks like the price actually changed by a couple cents from the time that I was actually making the cheat sheet. But it's not a big deal, it's only a couple cents. So we have $18.99, the sourcing price is $8.38. That gives us a potential profit of $10.61. Now to market the product, this is what we're going to do. Our target demographic for this is going to be parents. 
So we're gonna try to target parents with our video by making it enticing to parents or making it relatable. So it's gonna start off with a kid, a toddler, doesn't matter the age, going to the pantry or going to one of the cabinets. They're gonna take off the clip, throw it out, and they're gonna start eating. Then something's gonna happen and they're gonna spill it. Then it's gonna cut to the next day and it's gonna be the parents eating the chips. But instead of just putting it away with a clip, what they're gonna do is they're gonna seal it with this machine or this bag sealer. Then it's going to cut to another scene where the kid is going to go back to that pantry or cabinet. They're going to grab the chips, but they're not going to be able to open it. And that's where it's going to end. So what this video is doing is it's presenting a problem or a pain point, which is the kids grabbing snacks that they're not supposed to and potentially making a mess. And it's going to give the solution of your product. Up next at number six, we have a wireless egg beater. Now, this is something that a lot of people need and a lot of people use. People need mixers, something to be able to mix different ingredients together, whether it be for cooking or whether it be for baking. I love to cook and my cookies are perfect. Now, this one in particular comes with two different attachments. So it's going to come with two different heads for the beater. Now, on AliExpress, we can see that it's running for $8.69 as the regular retail price. Now, running to Amazon, we can find a similar product. This one runs for $18.99. The only difference in these two is really going to be the shape and the color. Honestly, that's about it. Everything else is the same. It brings the same exact two heads and they both work in pretty much the same exact way. They're both rechargeable and they both spin. <laughs> so taking a quick look at the cheat sheet, we can see that we can sell this product for about $18.99 and we're gonna be sourcing it for about $8.69. That gives us a potential profit of about $10.30. Now to market this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show absolute chaos. No, I'm just kidding. But what we are going to do is we're going to show somebody that has a lot to do, but they still need to cook as well. Somebody that can really relate to this is also going to be parents because there's too much going on at times and cooking can sometimes be very hard. It can be time consuming and it's kind of hard to just be away from the kids while still taking care of them, but still needing to take care of dinner or lunch or whatever it may be. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to get a bunch of ingredients and put them into a bowl. You're going to show a mom or a dad cooking or trying to cook in absolute chaos but then you're gonna show them grab the wireless egg beater and their cup of ingredients, and they're just gonna start mixing. Then you're gonna to cut to them opening a door in a different room, and they're still gonna be mixing their ingredients. Then they're gonna shut that door, go to a different door, doing the same thing, checking up on something, or maybe grabbing something, and still mixing the ingredients. Then they're gonna to go to, let's say, a kid's room, and they're gonna tell the kids to quiet down or to relax a little bit, all while mixing still their ingredients. This is going to show the portability of the wireless egg beater and the fact that you don't need to be stuck in the kitchen to get stuff done with it. At number seven, we have a mini portable vegetable chopper. Now, they have a few different variations for these. They have the electric ones and they have the manual ones. We're going to be offering the electric one because it's just a lot easier to use and it's a lot more, I guess you could say mainstream since it's electric. Now, on Amazon, we can see that this one is running for $21.96 and over a thousand of them have been purchased in the last month. So this is a definite trending item. This is something that people are looking for right now. So let's check on AliExpress how much we can get it for, and we can get it for a measly $1.69. Of course, that's a welcome deal. Regular price is gonna be about $7.69 with free shipping. Now, this is actually for the 100 milliliter one. The one that I had seen earlier is 250. So let's go with that one, 250. So it's just about a dollar difference. So $8.14. So let's check to see how much money we can make off of this. Now, the selling price is $21.96. Our sourcing price is going to be $8.14, and that's giving us a potential profit of about $13.82, which is actually not that bad. That's pretty good. It's not necessarily the two to two and a half that we're looking for, but it's still not a bad profit. So as far as our video idea, we're going to start off with somebody chopping onions and just overly exaggerate their crying. We're going to make it seem like they're absolutely sobbing because of the onions. Now, if you want to be a little bit extra and add a little bit more, you can make it a bit more comical by adding some crazy situation that makes them cry. Something just insane out of this world that is never going to happen, but it just makes them cry. And in order to mask themselves from crying because of the situation, they're going to start cutting onions to make themselves start crying. Then it's going to cut to somebody using your electric chopper. Now, as they're using it, of course, nobody's going to be crying. Everything's going to be perfect. Everything's going to be wonderful. You can somehow try to implement the same problem that you had in the previous scene into this one. But because of the electric chopper, the person's not going to be crying. So they're either going to completely ignore the situation or it's just going to somehow bounce back or something along those lines. Just make sure that when they're using the chopper, it's the complete opposite effect than when they're not using the chopper. 
So no chopper, extremely sad sobbing. Using the chopper, everything is great, everyone's happy, everything's going perfect. Next up at number eight, we have a rice rinser. Now, I don't know about you, but I always have the same exact problem that I try to rinse my rice inside the rice cooker. So I'll take the little pot out, I put the rice in there, I wash it, I stir it around to make sure I get everything off. And then when I go to pour the water out, I usually just stick my hand on top of it so that way the rice doesn't come off. But as the water comes out, the rice is also gonna spill with it. And it always happens. And I'm never able to get all the water out. There's always water left in, which is gonna throw off the measurements for how much water I actually have to put in there. Then the rice doesn't come out the way it's supposed to. It comes out either super soggy, super sticky, or it comes out really mushy because there was just too much water. So that's what this particular product is going to solve. This product, this rice rinser, helps you rinse your rice, wash your rice without any issues and without any troubles. Now, that's going to be our marketing angle as well. So you're going to show that same exact chaos or that same exact scene as you're washing your rice. You can't wash your rice by itself because it's always going to spill out or because there's gonna to be too much water left inside and it's just not gonna cook right. Then it's gonna to cut to you using the rice rinser and easily being able to take out all of the water without losing any rice or without having any extra water in the rice. So this one right here has pretty good reviews. It's running for 4.8 stars on AliExpress and it's running for just $2.42 with free shipping. So it's very cheap to source. Now, taking a look at Amazon, we can find one that's pretty much the exact same thing and it's running here for $13.99. And people are purchasing this one as well. So far, over 50 people have purchased it in the last month. But as far as reviews, it has over 1,900 reviews. So previous to last month, to these 50 orders, it's been selling a lot more. So we're gonna be selling this for about $13.99. We're gonna be sourcing it for a measly $2.42, giving us a potential profit of $11.57. And as far as the video marketing idea, I already gave it to you. Just complete chaos with rice. All right, this next item is one that everyone is gonna love, specifically because everyone loves this particular ingredient. And I'm talking about a cheese grater. Who doesn't love cheese? If you're on TikTok, I'm pretty sure you've seen tons of videos, tons of trending viral videos of people going to Olive Garden and asking them for their cheese grater. Now, those cheese graters are going to run like $25, $30, sometimes even more. But we're going to be selling it for a little bit cheaper. But we're going to be mimicking that video style to be able to market it. So right now, we can see that this hand crank cheese grater is running for $11.20. Now, this is just that. It's a cheese grater that you use manually. So you're going to just hold onto it like you see in the picture. You're going to stick the cheese inside, spin it, and it's going to grade the cheese. Now, on Amazon, this same exact one is running for $22.95 with over 6,000 that were purchased in the last month. Now, I can easily tell you why that is. Because of all these videos that have been going viral on TikTok, showing people going to Olive Garden and asking to purchase a cheese grater. So, this is the time for you to supply that cheese grater. Now, let's take a look at our profit really fast. So we're gonna be selling it for about $22.99 or 95 cents, and we're gonna source it for $11.20, giving us a potential profit of $22.47. Now, the way that we're gonna market this, the videos that I've seen that are trending right now are people going to Olive Garden and asking them if they sell it. So I'm gonna give you two video ideas for this one. I'm gonna give you a little bit extra. The first one is gonna be somebody at home and having their significant other, their partner, or their friend making them some pasta. They're gonna serve it to them on a plate and they're gonna ask them if they want cheese. The person's gonna say, of course I want cheese. And then the person serving the cheese is gonna say, all right, tell me when. And they're just gonna start grating and grating and grating and grating until there's a massive mountain of cheese. Then throughout that whole process, as that person is grating the cheese, the camera is gonna be focusing on the person's face being surprised like, wow, that's a lot of cheese. And it's gonna be panning down as well to the massive mountain of cheese. So it's gonna really be focusing on the cheese grater, the cheese and the person's reaction. Now to add a little bit of a dramatic effect, you can also zoom in onto the cheese as it's falling out of the grater and make that slow motion. People love cheese. So something like this is gonna be extremely entertaining. Now the other option is gonna to be to also mimic a restaurant, but it's gonna be the same style video that has been going on lately for Olive Garden. So somebody's gonna walk into a restaurant, it could be a home restaurant, something set up at home, it doesn't really matter. And they're gonna ask, oh, do you sell cheese graters? I saw on TikTok, I've been seeing that you sell cheese graters all the time. And then the person's gonna come out with a cheese grater and say, yes, this is the cheese grater that we offer. And then the other person's gonna grab it, they're gonna test it out, they're gonna eat the cheese, and then they're gonna go ahead and take it home with them. Really, the whole point of this one is to simply show how it works or how easy it is to use. And at number 10, we have a knife sharpener. 
I had a pair of knives that I never sharpened and they were the dullest thing ever. Now, I don't know if it's the fact that I never sharpened them or that they were just really cheap knives or just the fact that they were just really old. I think they were maybe seven years old at this point. But safe to say, I never sharpened them because I never really, I don't know, I never really thought about it. They always kind of worked and if they didn't, I would just use a different knife. Now, I actually really enjoy cooking, so I always try to have very nice knives and I try to have everything already sharpened and ready to go. But back then, I really didn't think about any of that stuff. And if I had a knife sharpener, it would have made it that much easier for me to just do it on a consistent daily basis, or at least every time that I went to cook. So because of that, at number 10, we have a knife sharpener. Now, a knife sharpener is also one of those things that a lot of people don't know that they need until they actually need it. A lot of people don't know how to sharpen their knives with that little long tube. It's a knife sharpener, this thing right here. A lot of people don't know how to use that, and I just recently found out how to use it. So a lot of people have that in their house if they bought a block of knives, and it's, it's just sitting there. A lot of people don't even know that that's used to actually sharpen a knife. Now, what this knife sharpener does is just simply make it a lot easier for somebody to sharpen their knives, their scissors, or anything else that needs to be sharp. Now this is running for $7.56, which is actually not that bad at all. And on Amazon, you can find a similar one for $12.99. Typically it's $13.89, so it's down about one or $2. Now, as far as how many people have purchased this one, check this out. Over 9,000 people have purchased it in the last month. That's an insane amount of sales. So let's go ahead and check out our profit. You can purchase it for about $7.56 and you can sell it for about $12.99. That's gonna give you a potential profit of $5.43. Now that doesn't seem like a lot of money because it is kind of a smaller profit, but as you start to sell multiples of these, you have the potential to make a lot of money. As you can see on Amazon, this right here is proof that a lot of people are purchasing this. This is something that a lot of people are looking for. And this is just in the last month. Ever since it's released, it's gotten over 29,000 reviews, which doesn't even count for how many have actually been sold. Because remember, not everybody that makes a purchase is gonna leave a review. Now, as far as our marketing angle, the video that we're gonna do is a example. So we're gonna show somebody using a very dull pair of knives, trying to cut meat and having a hard time cutting it. Trying to cut anything and just not being able to or having an extremely hard time doing it because of dull knives. Then it's gonna to cut to somebody sharpening those same knives with your sharpener. And then you're gonna show those knives gliding easily through multiple ingredients, whether that be fruits, vegetables, meats, whatever it may be. And those are the top 10 home and kitchen items that you should be drop shipping right now. Wait, what about the bonus? That's right. I don't know if you can see it in the screen right now. It's on the blue side right there. And it is actually a set of knives. Now, it's not just any knives. These are Japanese knives. So Japanese knives lately have been trending like crazy. These on Amazon are selling an insane amount. Sorry, I'm trying to be very careful with these because I really like them. And overall, they're actually very aesthetic. So as you can see, it has a nice handle. Some even have designs right here on the blade. These only have their logo here, which is what we were looking for. We were looking for something that wasn't too out there with too many crazy designs on it. So these come with a really cool block or holding block, knife block, I don't know what this is called, but this adds to the overall aesthetic. Now with Japanese knives, the whole thing behind them is the fact that one, they're gonna last longer. Two, they're gonna be sharper for longer so you don't have to sharpen them as often. And three, they're just overall higher quality and they're not gonna rust. So this is your bonus item. Make sure that you start selling these, let me do it like this instead. Make sure you start selling Japanese knives. So as far as the Japanese knives, there are quite a few variations. You're gonna find them being sold separately. You're gonna find them individually. You're gonna find some that have a block on them, some that don't have a block. But these are the ones that I found that can be compared. So this one is a value pack of four. So it brings four knives with protective covers. This is running for $29.19. Now on Amazon, I found something similar. It doesn't come with a block. It doesn't come with anything else. It doesn't even come with the protectors. The only thing that it comes with is just its, it's packaging. Now this one runs for $148.38. So here we can see that this in itself has some pretty good reviews. It has 4.6 stars and 153 ratings. So you can tell that these items are good sellers. These are items that people are looking for. Now, same goes with our knife set on AliExpress. So here we can see that it still has good ratings, 4.7 with 29 reviews and over 200 have sold. Now, as far as profits, this is where it gets good. So we're gonna be selling it for about $148.38. We're gonna be sourcing it for $29.17. That's gonna give us a 
potential massive profit of $119.21. Now I understand that this can be pretty expensive for knives. So you can even decrease the price down to $99.99 and you'll still be making a good amount of money. Let's do some quick math, right? So let's say we do sell it for $99.99 and we sell it for $29.17. You're still making $70.82 profit. So you can still make some pretty good profits off of just one sale. Now, as far as the marketing angle for this, this is going to be similar to the last one. We're going to do a comparison between your traditional knife, the one that you already have in house that's already dull and the Japanese knives. So what you're going to do is you're going to start showing somebody using the basic dull knives and they're going to be struggling cutting a tomato, struggling cutting any fruits or any vegetables. Then you're going to come along with the Japanese knife and it's going to be an easy glide, something easy to show how easily these knives can cut and how sharp they are. All right, now those were the top 10 with a bonus. So I guess top 11 products for you to drop ship in the home and kitchen niche. So what did you think of this video? What did you think of the items on this list? Did you like the fact that instead of giving you a target demographic, I'm giving you a video idea to be able to promote your products? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet with everything that I talked about in this video, including all of the different links and video ideas, including the bonus, Make sure you drop a comment down below with the hashtag kitchen and let me know which one of these items was your favorite. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. Please make sure you smash that like button. I'm pretty sure that if you made it this far, you enjoyed the video. Also hit that subscribe button. Yeah, I'm talking to you right there. The one right there? No, on the left? No, no, not you. The one behind that one. Yeah, you. I know you're not subscribed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as well and make sure you ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos and you get to watch them the moment that they're released, giving you a little bit of an advantage by giving you a heads up so that way you can list your products quicker than anybody else. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it this far once again. My name is Mario with AutoDS. I truly appreciate you being here and catch you all next time.